Justin Fricky, the foraging cover crop specialist with Millbourne Seeds. So obviously you can tell we're out here in a cornfield and, and uh, it is extremely windy. So you gotta pardon the noise, I guess. But the reason we came out here in this cornfield is because uh, what we did is we, the producer went ahead and uh, opted to broadcast or aerially apply a, a cover crop blend. What we did is a mixture of uh, radish, turnip, and rape. We used all really small, tiny seeds. Um, you know, we're down here in Minnehaha County where it's predominantly corn and soybean rotation, yet still there's a lot of producers out there that have, have come to realize the benefits of, co of cover crops in that rotation. And so that's why I went ahead and broadcasted this mixture on here. You know, it was broadcasted, uh, you know, about the middle of August, and now we're a month into it, middle of September. We've caught a little bit of rain from then till now. And so we're starting to see some growth out here. We're starting to see uh, some green in between the rows. Um, we've got, we got little turnips and radishes coming here, as you can see. Um, obviously they're not too big right now, but we still probably got another good month of growth where you can get some tubular growth out here. It was dry up here too, so we know that there's some leftover nitrogen that we'd like to come out here and scavenge for. The big difference is, is we want to have that biological activity working in the soil for us too. So just wanted to show you what this looks like after we go ahead and we already apply a, a cover crop onto standing corn, uh, flying it on. Um, pretty neat concept. I think we're going to see a lot of this. Uh, uh, moving forward in the next couple years just just because we're really starting to see just how much a cover crop can improve the soil for us uh, and improve the bottom line as a producer. So I'm Justin Frickty and thanks for watching.